This is a slug that I housed uh, inside since um, since late fall or early winter I went slug hunting and so I keep them um, over winter for Sparky and Sparky I'm going to try to do this and also film which is going to be very difficult um, I house them I'll show you at a later point how I house them and I've had this for months and Sparky takes spells about what he wants to eat I have the tongs ready and as it tries to scoot off of this paving stone uh, I uh, scoot it back on for Sparky so he can think about it as turtles have to think about if they're going to eat eat anything they they have their own little time frame and you have to just have the tongs ready and keep them the best thing is try to keep them on a surface that they're not going to be picking up the bedding so I'm trying to keep this slug on this paving stone um, while Sparky decides if he wants to eat it or not there seems to be just that period of time where he has to just think on it and sniff it and make that decision. So far he's only just taken a bite. And this is the this is the sad part about turtling is um, you know having to feed them live bugs and worms. So now it's a matter of trying to keep Sparky from dragging it into uh, the substrate. This is March the 18th, so I've been really blessed this winter with Sparky eating. couldn't tell you how many times I've offered these over the winter and Sparky had no desire whatsoever. <laughs> 